Imagine you're walking down the street one day when all of a sudden a strange portal opens up around you and you find yourself in a brand new world. But wait a minute, this world, it looks awfully familiar. In fact, you're pretty sure you know that shrine right over there. Ah, uh, that's right, you just got transported to Gensokyo by one of Yukari's gaps. And with your new location comes a new name, Gappy Sue. It's what the Toho fans call OCs or self-inserts that get dragged into Gensokyo via gap. It got popular due to the many, many people using this as a means of wish fulfillment. They end up in Gensokyo, they get awesome powers, they get all the girls. It's one hell of a good deal. But of course, back in the day, wish fulfillment was seen as bad writing and pure cringe. Opinions have changed over time, of course, but the stigma still remains. You are now a Gabby Sue. But rather than give you a bunch of powers and a quick track to success, we're going to start you with nothing. All you have is your knowledge of the series and the clothes on your back. Now, a more skeptical person might say, Eh, it's game over, you're done. You'll just be eaten by a wild yokai and that'll be that. But let's give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's say you appeared on the road connecting the Hawk Red Shrine and the Human Village. Maybe Yukari's feeling merciful, or maybe you just got lucky. The choice is obvious. Head for the Human Village. While some may suggest seeing Reimu because she could send you back to the real world, that would defend the purpose of this video, which is exploring the dynamic of outsiders in Gensokyo. You make it to the village, they let you in once they realize you're, you aren't a yokai and you're a threat. After all, look at you, you're not exactly intimidating. Now, you have two options. Live a quiet life in the human village for the rest of your days, or learn to fight and become one of the village guard. For the sake of adventure, let's say you chose the latter. It'd be hard, and you'd want to quit many times. But you eventually become one of the guard. You can swing a sword real well. But that won't be enough to help you against the heavy hitters of Gensokyo. You're untalented, you have no magic, there's no bullshit gift that's gonna help you close the gap quickly. So you come up with a crazy idea. It's stupid, but you know from reading the manga that humans becoming yokai is against the rules. You saw what happened to that fortune teller. He's in two pieces now. So in what could only be described as a stroke of genius, or stu stu stupidity, you set off toward the Scarlet Devil Mansion. Being a guard has allowed you to become quite familiar with Sakuya, the head maid, as she made frequent visits to the village. So upon arriving, you're allowed entry. It is there that you make your case to Remilia. She'll make you a vampire in return for serving her for eternity. After all, it said no yokai, not vampire. It's a tough sell, but once you tell her that Dracula had many vampiric followers, she accepts your offer. You've never been more glad to be a nerd. The transformation is painful, probably the most painful thing you've ever experienced. After all, surviving it isn't guaranteed. But you'll poo through. Great, you're a vampire now. Doesn't mean you know how to use your powers yet. In trying to fly, you crash into a wall. Sakya isn't very happy about that. But eventually, you get the hang of it. You're the, not the strongest by a long shot, but you're probably at about stage two level. You accept it, you're immortal. You can defend yourself and you're living in Gensokyo. And this, folks, is how you can write an outsider in a convincing way, in a way that isn't overly cringe or forceful in nature.